Hey everyone, John and my woodsman. Uh, just going to do a little video on uh, five uh, man-made tinders. I had uh, was watching a couple of guys the other night doing it, and I said, "Yeah, that's a good idea. Why not?" There's a ton of them out there: uh, newspaper, cotton balls, magnesium, jute twine, pencil shavings, chaffing fuel. The list goes on. You know, Vaseline, chapstick, steel wool, on top of all your natural tinders, your butch birch barks and fat woods and shavings and to me, this is just my take on Tinder and whatever starts a fire. Uh, it's what works for me. And that's what I use. Hopefully, you can hear me. I got a fan on for a little bit of ventilation up here in the man cave. So, let me get with it. I guess the first thing we'll start with is probably the easiest, which is the Jude Twine. Never fails. And then you got wax Jude Twine, it also carry, so that helps sustain it a little bit longer. Then you got the old faithful cotton ball roll-ups. I love my cotton ball roll-ups. Now if I can get it to go out. Come on. Come on. There we go. They burn good. And let's see here. Grab some of this out of here. Don't take much. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of chafing flu fuel, fuel, chafing fuel. There we go. See that? It's burning. Can't see it that well. It's burning. Boy, have I got a mess going here, don't I? All right, my magnesium block. I'll show you about a little bit about that here. Then I got uh, another old standby pencil shavings. And just a little crunch, you don't want it too fine. Now if I can get a good spark to land on that, we should have a pretty good fire real quick. Kind of getting spread out. Kind of hard to do it like this, but... There we go. So you got to get a spark on it. That work works really well. It'll take off here in a second. You don't want it to burst right off anyway, kind of like the jute twine. You want to have something along with it. But uh, yeah, it works pretty good. Scrape this over here. And then I got my favorite, one of my favorites, not my favorite, I have to say my cotton balls are my favorite. This is probably one of my second or third ones. A little magnesium. If you notice my mag bar, <clears throat> I used a drill at slow speeds not to get it too hot and cause a spark. And drilled it, boy it sure beats scraping it. And I fill this container up, throw it in my bag, and that's a lot of magnesium to start a fire with right there. So let's see what happens, see if it'll go. See if I can get a spark to hit it. There we go. Don't take long, get out of the smoke. <clears throat> Stuff will kill you. I worked in a mag factory years back and we used to grind it up like baby powder for fireworks and uh, explosives for companies. And I've seen that stuff burn through a three foot thick floor in our back factory before from a fire. But, uh, pretty cool so there you go that's my take on five that I could grab right away um, another thing I'm doing now is I'm gonna try to do a shout out one shout out for every video at the end so this one here is gonna go out to uh, bro tan knives he does some awesome work some of the best knives I've seen on YouTube straight up uh, the etching of his blades the different type of etchings he does on them uh, 
his handles, the grips, they're just unbelievable. And the kinds of knives that he makes is just crazy. It's all about custom knives. So if you like custom knives, that's the place to go. Go check him out, like him, sub him. I'll try to put a link below. With that, I gotta say thanks. Uh, thanks to all my subs, my old and my new. All the likes and comments. It's been great, it's been a journey, we're getting there. I just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your help. I really appreciate it from everybody. It's, uh, it's been really fun. So with all that, you folks, you all take care. You have a great day, and God bless.